hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time of tuning in you're welcome i really want to say a very big thank you to my old subscribers thank you so much i really appreciate god bless you if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please do well to subscribe to my channel so today i'll be sharing some tips for bright to be important tips for bright to be so even if your wedding is not happening this year even if it's next year as far as you are still single, you are still bright, you are someone's bride. And don't worry, somebody's song will find you one day. So you are someone's bride. And information I'll be sharing on this video is very helpful to be helpful for you to plan towards your big day. So number one thing I would love to share is that when planning for your wedding as a bride to be, know your menstrual state. I know someone will probably be like what does knowing your menstrual cycle has to do with your big day? Now you need to plan for it. You don't want to, as a bride, you don't want to be menstruating. You don't want to find yourself in a situation where you are menstruating on your big day, or probably if you have every menstrual flow now, or you have menstrual cramp and you are just moody on your wedding day, you will probably will not want something like that to happen. Actually, something like that happened to me almost happened to me, or probably I had the experience 50 percent share, but. I thought to share that it's something that could have probably prevented. I think few a month to my wedding just got done on me like let me even calculate this thing in advance. Now when I calculated in advance, I'm on the 28th day is menstrual sick. When I calculated it in advance and I discovered that my 28th day fell on my wedding day. <laughs> and for me, I have every menstrual pain, every bleeding sometimes so i feel like how do i manage it in fact whenever i'm menstruating i'm not always in my best mood i just have this hormone swing mood swing and everything like that i'm not always in my best mood and the hype was already out so just like a month to the bed there was nothing i could do again and so i told my um i, I spoke with my best lady i already shared this that oh so 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 thing is happening on my wedding day i will be expecting it i want to to plan ahead for it so I gave her a bag. In that bag, there was my drug, there was an extra pad. In the morning, I had my engagements. I used the pad. After the engagement, I changed again. Even though it, it, was just, it was just spotting a little, I used the drug. I went with another pad again to church. In fact, I was wearing another technique calendar in my wedding gown because I don't want any story that touch. I don't want a situation where you are dancing or any. I should not want to create sin. I don't want, I know for white, any little stain can just ruin your dress. So I had prepared for it. I had prepared for it. Though, even though I was not in my best mood totally, people did not actually see it in my face. I still danced. I enjoyed myself well. I was still feeling the pain I was holding on. But I just felt like it's something that if I had planned for before that day, I could have probably shifted the date or tendered the date to my parent and my partner to let okay, how can we work around? Because I remember when we were planning for our wedding. We we're considering some things okay for example we we're considering that how do we manage and what's it called the traffic i had my wedding in lagos i was considering the traffic i didn't want to have it the first saturday of, of that month that people um various churches will be having their programs i don't want people to be stuck in the traffic and everything so we consider that we shifted the date so if we can consider some little, little things by considering the, um, as regards the date then putting considering your menstrual circle too is very important in picking your dates in finalizing the dates even if you don't have menstrual pain or you don't have menstrual heavy bleeding or anything you don't want to not feel comfortable on your wedding day you want to be comfortable you want you know you've always had some good dreams for yourself your wedding night and everything like that so you want a situation whereby you are comfortable it's not the one that you, alpha check for me or you know stuff like that you will not want to be doing the check check alpha alpha you know you don't want to do something like that so that is why it's very important to know your menstrual cycle so my number two tip will be for probably if you are how to manage stress let me just basically how to manage your stress especially when you are having your engagement and wedding day and the church wedding on the same day guys sincerely uh what i would advise someone is if you have your way to do it for two days, probably have your engagement on a day before. That is the best. It just minimizes the stress to the minimum. Everybody you just have time to do a lot of things. That's the best, really. That's just the best. The stress is reduced for the bride. No, as the bride, as the bride now, 
guys they don't have visual a guy can enter change anywhere and they are they are just going they don't have issues you are the one that wants to retouch your makeup retouch your hair you want to do a lot of things and now imagine having to do all that in just a day so our number one thing i will say as regards doing everything in a day is that for brides to be if you want to pick a clue because there won't be time now i will be sharing this based on my own personal um experience that i had my church wedding was to start 11 o'clock my um the time I faced for my engagement was just refused, it was 7 to 9. And I must say something, I think one of the things that affected me was the fact that I had thought people would, um, everybody would comply with it. But you know that in Nigeria, African time, they are, everybody is used to African time, they don't comply with things. Even your vendors, in fact, I was really pissed off with my lag that day because I already called her prior to that day. I begged her. I begged her so much that I told her that if there is any extra money you want to me to give you, I will give you. Just please save me the stress. I don't want to rush to the church. I want to be to the church on time. Now, the main issue we had was that the church was about 45 minutes drive from where we lodged and where we had our engagement and reception. The only thing that took us out was just the church and there was absolutely nothing we could do because that was that, uh, that was my dad's church and there was nothing we could just do so my dad already know that this is it but i think the mistake we we, we did to them is i didn't know it was really that serious i didn't know it was gonna probably be that really really tedious for her sincerely guys it was really really tedious that I already, I shall already told my lag at seven to nine. Please, if you can keep to that night, at least I can have one hour to change. Then I'll be going. But guys, that's where the mistake is to like. You can't manage those. Especially when it comes to time, even if you can manage it, even if you and your husband can manage it, other people, you have to put this plus or minus that people, they lag at or whatever, they will not keep to time. And I've attended the place where a wedding where by the lag at kept to time. But I still feel it depends on the family that are involved with the ceremony actually i feel if you have a parent that socializes very well there is out there's no how you can beat it like there is no how you can do it so i just think because i just most times nigerian weddings are 80 percent for the parents for the family is their day too i feel like it's that day but they still want they still have the major say on it so if, when you are planning when you are your bride is planning your groom is planning you need to consider the kind of family you come from if it's the kind of family that socializes very well just do it for two days just find your way to do it for so everybody will have their time to enjoy themselves but if your kind of parent they just they don't mind they they are very they don't really socialize or probably they don't care about all those i don't know how best to not that they don't care about it but they can manage it fine like for me now after speaking with Allah god drew about it 9 30 i'm still hearing a lagaduro sing telling my dad major major i pee my dad you know dancing and everything i think i was hearing someone saying that like we are trying to keep standard lagaduro was telling my dad that ah this one is more important than the church self this one is i was really furious i was angry like oh if i think i ever cried that it like, after speaking with you guys after begging and the lagaduro was for my dad's side so it's not like someone I, I actually brought it was not like direct vendor to me so it was just ip my dad and i was really angry that i was trying to beat the time but i thought the church was 45 minutes drive so there was nothing we could do i think we finished the whole engagement in our hand. is it 10 i think 10 or so so i have one hour and inside that one hour and my church where i had my wedding <clears throat> they keep the time a lot when it comes to in fact during our marriage counseling they've been telling us I'm hiring it to our ears that like you need to keep to time, you need to keep to time. And I've attended the wedding like that in my church. That the bride didn't come on time, they had to stop the music. I didn't want to just create a scene on my wedding day. I didn't want to create a boy's event. Though it did, I didn't later create this scene, but I still I think I still go to church for around 11 30 or thereabouts. There was no because after least as I did that morning, I, I had not styled my hair. So a day before, I just installed my wig and I had not styled it. My vendor was like, maybe we will style it immediately after the engagement. We'll quickly style it and everything. We should bring with another lesson that I learned there is that, please, 
if you are having it done in one day, style your hair, everything you will do on that hair, do it a day, or no, no, even if it's not a day, maybe very early in that, very early that morning before you tie your hair, just style the hair down, put it on, just do something, style it very, everything you need to do, style it down, probably you will get a scarf or, or what's it called, big cover, just cover it like that with the style, tie your belly, so that when you are done with the church or with the engagement, you just go, they will just retouch it. Compared to me, where my vendor has to just start rolling and everything. And as at that time, we've not, in fact, as at that time, we skipped a lot of things. I think I left the venue for the engagement around after 10. I had to wear my wedding gown, the ball gown. I had to wear the pentacle. It was, I was already mentally stressed because I was trying to see how we could beat the church traffic for 45 minutes. So a lot of people were already calling me. Alpha. My parents, they just wore one, wore one clothes and they just went. Now, let me tell you how I managed my makeup, which will be helpful. So when, when I was picking the clothes I wanted for my engagement dress, my engagement yeah my when i was making my engagement dress i actually tried to pick a clothes that could blend with white so i want i told my makeup artist i want a nude makeup i don't want any i don't want to do any color blocking on my face i already spoke to her that i want a makeup that could blend my engagement and instantly blend with my white wedding girl so i went for a white lace that has a touch of i don't know bling bling <laughs> like that sha but i think i didn't really go out of color for my dress let me just say even if it's not dressed i already spoke with the makeup artist that i need a makeup that can blend well with my engagement dress which is nude i want something new i prefer nude makeup and i can go instantly not that i have to start cleaning up anything or anything there's no time for that so you know a makeup artist takes that time and i already know my kind of face that the kind of face i have i can carry makeup for so long so i told her that i don't need she just beat my face builder even if i come back for my church wedding uh, from the engagement i only have to do something little which she actually adhered to in fact my makeup didn't take time after the engagement it was the same makeup and she already warned me yes she already told me that now that you are saying the please when they are i feel you please don't go and be crying stuff like that i told her i will not cry you know if you cry your makeup will get ruined. <sighs> but there is <laughs> you know all these uh what is it called moments whereby you have to depart from your parents they will pray for you go to your husband i didn't know where that tears was coming i was just trying to manage that hey, please, don't cry don't cry don't ruin this makeup i was thinking of the time i was just what was on my head was time 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 it was hammering on my head time time i had to beat the church time so when i went back to the to my hotel hotel room she just cleaned up a little just a little and she changed my lipstick that was all she didn't even stress on anything like that so the issue now was my hairstylist having to start styling and now around that time that was around 10 30 to 11 to 11 said my husband was already in the vehicle then he was already on his way and yeah my still struggling to style my hair if i my hair very do and i were nearly had the issue that they could like, don't style anything don't do anything just pack it on my i was just pack it i was literally wearing my petticoat for those that don't know petticoat petticoat is the basket that brides do wear under their ball gowns their wedding gowns so i was literally wearing my petticoat when i was on the road like on the staircase <laughs> So there was no time to even say i want to snap with the bride um, i said bride with the groom there was no moment for it. everything was just rush 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 so it was really really crazy so i was really blessed with my spirit but then the only thing that kept me going was the fact that we why we actually made it one day was because we were, con we were just trying to be considerate to the groom's family but if i know that if i didn't want the better understanding that you know the kind of family you come from I will probably not even bother. I will just insist that we should have it done for two days because the help was just too much for my parents. The Araka group never mind. I was just vexing. In fact, when they asked me to dance during the engagement, I was angry. I didn't want to dance. I was just vexing. Like, but you know, I had to just still manage that situation. It happened sincerely. I don't know how you want to do it, but these things really happen. The emotional, the, the mental stress that comes with it is so, so, so much. It's so, so, so much. So there's nothing 
you can actually do you are not in so too many things you won't be in control of so just to be on the silver side get your hair done everything the style you get it done try and use a wig cover cover it so that by the time you just come back from the engagement you just remove it and just do a little retouching on it so i think with that way but truth be told that both you and the groom will have time to snap picture <laughs> i don't think so except if they actually kept the time for the engagement which is seven to nine and probably if the church is still eleven if you can dress up on that didn't take much time in my but you know not naturally both girls wedding girls will take you time before you start uh what's it called gathering yourself together adjusting you know so many things like that so we didn't even snap truth be told my husband and i we didn't snap with the wedding gown before the church everybody just went in fact at 11 30 some people were already outside waiting calling different calls were coming where are you this and that where are you this i was so frustrated i was scared like god what kind of scene is this so please i don't know how you can how best to do it just i just walk around it just walk around it but the stress that is involved is actually much so for you just to be meet up it is just get your hair done make up don't do color blocking on your face so that you will not have to be changing to so many things just try and see how you can wave through both at the same time so another tip i would love to share for brides to be i think this one will be restricted to if you are a seamstress hey let me say it in our regular um way if you are a tailor and you are a bride to be this one is specifically for you sincerely i think one of the things that used to affect tailors most times or most fashion designers is that when it comes to other people's clothes you know it's another person's clothes so you want to overdo your best you want to just you know they will pick this style and just so for them that's it is what you ask for i will give now when it comes to you as a tailor and you want to make your own wedding dress yourself if you want to make your own wedding dress ah oh god see there's a factor that will affect you which is the factor of indecision you will just go black you won't know what to do you won't know the one to pick so why i'll this is i'll just go straight to it. just pick one dress i remember i changed my wedding gown style i think three weeks to the wedding or thereabouts i made the dress three weeks to the wedding so i've been sewing other people's clothes i've made my husband's clothes engagements where i've made it and but my own clothes i was doing them diamond which is common to most tailors you don't take your own personal clothes serious i don't know why so i think i had so many indecision if i'm apprentice they were tired of me they were literally tired i would come again I'm like yes come and see this song no should i do this song in fact i'll go i will say another style i was just stressed out with picking a, a wedding gown that i bought for myself it was so stressful to me for me so this is what i would say if you're a and you want to sew your wedding gown for yourself pick a dress delete your instagram account for the main time just delete it don't go on any other social media again sincerely <laughs> because anytime you go on social media you only that one and one reason to still change your wedding dress <laughs> so decide on time so once you decide on time just so it just believe in yourself just just believe you are doing the best and just close your eyes off i think before my wedding i have about 100 wedding girls on my phone i'm not joking guys i wish i could just screenshot i have deleted them out loud but my apprentices they know that i will come if i, I start printing them out i i'll put it on the walls of the shop and just to for me to see it and everything just pick one dress if you can i ban it your um ig i ban it anywhere you probably will be seeing inspiration for wedding dress again just delete it off your mind pick a dress sew it on time don't do that mini so <laughs> and once you don't sew it pack it don't recheck it once you wash it and everything pack it don't recheck it again so that you don't go and change your mind so that's that for tell us if you are sewing your wedding gown now if you're not sewing your wedding gown yourself even if you are actually going to meet someone to sew it for you please you need do it on time don't do nine minutes uh what's it called gown don't don't do nine minutes work with it although i assume that this person should be able to help you deliver it is a very important aspect so pick it on time pick a wedding gown that fits your body yes don't just go and pick anyhow wedding gown what fits a particular body style might not fit your own body style so you need to ensure that you are on track with that too so don't just pick any other wedding gown style for yourself yes so another aspect i want to say is coming to uh, makeup 
uh, your makeup artists your vendors to people that will, that will be working with you directly your air vendor your 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 hair stylist or your hair stylist your makeup artist i'm of the opinion that don't go and use a um someone that has not beat your face before just a random person that has not beat your face before you've not seen their work yes i might if you go on hygiene you might not be able to afford some particular professionals if you probably go on hygiene and see that i remember during my when i was planning my wedding i there was this extra i already know the makeup artist i wanted to use i used the person that beat my face for my introduction i love her makeup so she was the one i still use so don't just say you are trying to impress someone or you are trying to impress yourself or you just see someone's random work except if the person is a celebrity makeup artist that you've probably seen their work don't just go on IG randomly and pick one makeup artist that will come and beat your face for you I'm of the opinion that before you use anybody for your make, uh, any, anybody to beat your face on your wedding day try and see if you can probably patronize them in, before that time let them beat your face for you if you're cool with it fine so don't just pick a random person for your face so that you know be having so many contouring and anything on your face like that so that one is there so i was saying something about picking vendor i went there was this idea um, i went on ig to pick a hairstylist i love this person's hairstyle of uh, the way it ties people's hair but it was too he's a celebrity hairstylist i could not afford the price was charging me it was uh, well, i think they asked me to pay seventy thousand to style my hair i know there are people that can afford it they tell but i couldn't afford it so i opted that for someone that could do something nice for me at a lower price even though i didn't even still allow her to still beat my hair for me because of um the challenge having to do it i can't even imagine if i had even opt out for someone that probably pay for one celebrity style to do my hair for me 70,000 and yet I'm not still able to meet up with the hair style because of the old time meeting or anything so it's, it's not something good at all so try and get good vendors that will style your hair well try and get a very good makeup artist that will do your makeup to your taste you don't have to break your account to get the best just get someone to do something very nice for you. you don't want to be looking awkward or probably you're not dancing, you're sweating, one makeup is on one side, another makeup is on another side. No, it's not it's not a good thing. And lastly, another thing, another point I want to share is please brides to be willing to rest. You need to take a break, just find time to rest. If it's just, I remember I gave myself one month, I said one month, sorry, a week to rest. I didn't work, I didn't do it, I was just at home relaxing, eating. You need to rest, you need to rest sincerely. When planning for your big day, just give your time to rest. If you have three days, if you have rest and eat well, so that you will not, you will not want to wear a wedding gown. I've seen so many deep holes. <laughs> I said, I was well, conga. <laughs> Conga room, you don't have to see all those holes. Stress as a way of showing on your face, so you will not want something like that. So you need to take a good rest. Which will lead me to um, there was someone's video I watched. Like, okay, I think video credit to Victoria Fash. Yes, I'm doing this video credit to Victoria Fash. I watched a video on Bryce to be and one of our on one of the points she gave there is treat to treat malaria and at, even if the malaria did not come there's some malaria that happened due to stress so you need to treat malaria before your wedding maybe a week to the wedding because yeah and i remember something like that happened to me on my introduction day at work and everything so when i went back when i went for my introduction a day before i was literally vomiting i was so sick that if i on that day i could not eat anything i told you i had an elaborate introduction so i could not eat i was so i don't know i just had this malaria come so prior to my wedding day i think a week three i started treating malaria that can come as a result of stress because i was already having the symptoms too, so i quickly treated the malaria i don't want to bring down before that day so you need to take a note so that you won't end up having stress that will come due to you don't want to have malaria that will come due to stress yes <laughs> so guys it's very important to take that rest take the rest as bright to be and just call me the day enjoy yourself a lot of things will make you feel bad but probably of 
friend you that day don't ensure that it's your day keep telling your day yourself is your day and you want to enjoy it so if you don't even take picture before the wedding remember to take the picture after you've come back from church so guys i'll be ending it here i'll be doing a series on wedding 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 series wedding series so just take it like this the part one till next time oh before that if you have not subscribed please do well to subscribe to my channel please like and if there are other things i didn't mention for those that are married and you probably want to share for other people to see please drop it at the comment section box till next time there is i wish you a nice time please take care of yourself bye